Hi, it's Dave from Classic Blade Review, and in this brief video, we are going to take a look at the Timberwolf Gentleman's Lockback Stainless Steel Blade um, Pocket Knife. Now, what caught my eye about this knife, and I'm going to show it up close here, was actually, to be honest, the look of it. I like that design that you see on the nickel bolster and then sort of laid into the, the wooden inlay handle with that real decorative engraving. Um, I like that wooden uh, inlay in the handle and it's a rather sizable knife. Um, it's the, the entire knife is, um, when it's opened up, it's seven and a half inches long with the blade uh, being three and a quarter inches. So it's a little bit large, maybe to be for most to be an EDC, but it's a um, it's a sturdy knife. Now, one of the things that I've noticed, at least maybe just in my price point, is knives that tend to be real decorative, um, like you know fancy inlays and that. They tend to um, just not be uh, uh, made as as a higher quality or made as solid. They um, they tend to be made at least at my price point, um, as more of a decorative piece than an actual practical usable knife. And what I'd say about this Timberwolf knife, it both looks really nice, but also it's, it's, it's sturdy, it's solid, it's practical. You could use it. Um, e, the, uh, the knife itself, there's no play in the blade. There's no loose parts. The inlay is pretty solid. In fact, the way the, the knife is Get it on the camera here. It's really centered really well. The blade is centered really well. There's no play in the blade. So there's no there's no wiggle. So it is a solid knife. Again, it comes with a stainless steel blade. It's, you can see a, a rather large uh, thumb nick in there. So you can easily open the knife on one uh, side of the blade. I'll try to get it in focus. It says Timberwolf. And on the other side... Um, if you can see it there, it's actually made, made in China. So, uh, it's an Asian made knife. Now, when I read about this knife, what's interesting, I, I would have thought that this would be a clip point knife because it kind of goes up like this, but I'm sort of new to the knife collecting, um, because most often it's, it's described as a drop point knife. So leave a comment. Do you think, is that a drop point because it does drop? Or is it a clip point because it does sort of come up a bit uh, to the point? What do you think? Is this a drop point or a clip point blade? Um, but again, it's a it's a sturdy knife. Just a, a few of the features about it. Uh, I mentioned it's got the wooden inlay. And uh, it's, it's done pretty well. Now, I will say um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, between the wood and the and the nickel inlay there. I don't know if you can see it really well in the camera, but there's a little bit of a gap. Could be cleaner uh, the way it comes together, but again, it's super solid. Um, you know, the, the lock back works really well. Um, there's nothing loose about it. It's got the, the lanyard holes in it. Um, now, I will say this about it, along with maybe a little bit of a gap in the wood, um, it's, it's uh, the, the lock back. I don't know if this is a safety concern or not, but it's a little bit hard to push in, and it has, it's a little bit of a catch on the blade, so you got to push the blade a little bit more than you'd expect. And when you do that, the blade comes in really quick. Like, it'll close on your finger um, if you don't watch out, if you don't know that. And depending on where you're placing your, your hand, you run the risk of cutting your finger pretty bad because the, the knife, even out of the box, comes with an edge. It's pretty sharp. And that'll come down on you pretty quick, quicker than you realize, especially because you're kind of giving it a little bit of an extra push. So that's sort of concerning. Um, as far as anything else, uh, I think the other thing that attracted me not only the 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 inlay the the wooden inlay and the nickel bolsters and the design on the bolsters and on the handle but was the price you can actually get this knife on the internet for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents at its lowest uh, you can get it on amazon uh for under twenty five dollars
And I'll put a link in the subject matter below to the Amazon uh, link in case you're interested in it. But you can find it as low as $12.99. And that is like super cheap for a really decent looking, kind of a really nice looking knife. It's a solid knife, sizable, um, very useful, very practical. You just want to be aware of some of those concerns. But I mean, my goodness, for $12.99, you know, you can't really go wrong, I don't think. If you're familiar with the Timberwolf knives, um, let me know what you think in a comment below. Do you like your not the Timberwolf line of knives, or is it um, is it sort of below the grade of what you normally collect? Uh, I, I tend to enjoy buck knives, so you know the quality of the Timberwolf isn't you know what we find in a typical buck knife. But let me know what you think. Um, thanks for checking out the video.